Hey y'all, so I'm here with a haul. I just placed an order from Sugar and Spice Gourmet Soy, Soy Candles. And I placed an order because I saw, I believe um, it was It's All About Etsy post a video on this and the scent sounded amazing. So I got online and ordered and the shipping guys was so fast. I ordered Sunday night, Sunday evening, probably 8 o'clock, whatever. Um, and I just got them today. Today's Wednesday. And they were sitting in my mailbox when I got home at 3.30 today. So, yeah, that's crazy fast. And she has a ready-to-ship section, which I ordered from. Most of these were from her ready-to-ship. But two of them she had to pour, or at least they weren't on her ready-to-ship. So, I don't know, but that was crazy fast. So, anyway, let me go ahead and get into what I got. And I ordered 16, and then she threw in one sample. So, I'll show you guys the freebie. This is creamy coconut cake. And this smells like, um, if you're familiar with Lush, it smells like the coconut that's in the um, discontinued now, but the I Should Cocoa soap and the Curly Whirly um, shampoo. It's sort of an almondy coconut, if that makes any sense. It probably does not. But, um, yeah, I actually like it. I don't like the scent from Lush, but I think the cake in this makes it better, and I actually really like the coconut. Um, so I'm glad that one was a sample, because that was awesome. Then I got eggnog latte, which is pretty spicy, so I'm not sure exactly how I feel about it. But, I mean, it's good. It's a, it's a very good, it's a really creamy scent. I don't get a whole lot of coffee yet, um, but it's definitely there. Like, you can definitely smell it, and I do like it. And like I said, I mean, I'll tell you the ones that weren't ready to ship, but I don't know if these have to cure or not, but she ships them super fast. So I'm assuming they do, so that one will probably change. This is Marshmallow Sweet Potato, which was sort of a weird scent for me to choose, um, considering I don't like spicy scents and I don't eat sweet potatoes at all, ever, unless they are fried. <laughs> um, but this one smells different than I thought it would. I, d I get a lot of marshmallow. And then there's... I'm going to say weird. There's sort of a weird note in this, but it's it's a good weird, and I actually really like it. So, that was nice. I got peppermint sugar cookies, which you guys know I'm obsessed with peppermint scents right now. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is just such a great, sweet, pepperminty, candy cane, sugary scent. And I don't know why my camera is not focusing... I don't know. It says peppermint sugar cookies. Stubborn camera. Then I got red velvet cake. And I got this one because it's all about Etsy had ordered red velvet ice cream, which I got too. And she said it was so good she wished she had gotten just plain red velvet cake also. So I went ahead and got both. And it's good. I, it's really, really sweet. And I smell a lot of the frosting. But I like it. I don't have a problem with it. really, really sweet. And I love red velvet cake. Oh, my gosh. This one is banana cream peanut butter pie. And this one, let me remember. Hold on. Yeah. I get a lot of banana. I get a lot of banana in this. And then... I don't get really creamy peanut butter. I get, like, peanuts. So, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I really like the banana cream scent. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's a good scent. It's, I, just, I don't think it's what I expected, but the banana in that is really, really good, and I really like the banana. Then I got chocolate chip cookies and milk. And I've never had a milk scent, but I've heard people talk about them. Um, I don't know. I think it smells good. I think it smells really good. I don't know that I want my apartment to smell like this. 
So, we'll see. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good scent, and I do like it. I just, I don't know that it's something I want my home to smell like. Does that make sense? Probably not. Whatever. Here's the red velvet ice cream that I had mentioned. And I like this one better than the plain red velvet. So, it's all about Etsy. Don't be dismayed that you got red velvet ice cream instead of red velvet. Because I really do think this one smells better. Um, it cuts down on the really sweet frosting and gives you more of, like, a creamy ice cream. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's not over-the-top frosting. So, I like the red velvet ice cream better. And this one, the lid is coming off. This one. This is marshmallow cream cake. And this one is so strong when I as soon as I opened my mailbox I was like oh my gosh something smells amazing and amazingly sweet and oh my gosh it filled up the entire mailbox it's so strong and it was this little guy and usually I mean I don't know that marshmallow scents are that terribly like crazy strong this one is and it's really good. I really like it. So, I hope it throws well because on Cold Smith, my goodness, it almost knocks your socks off. Okay. Then I got Sassy Sweet Tarts, which I've been really into candy scents and stuff lately. And you guys know that. Um, so, I was excited to try this one. And this one does not let me down. It is so good. I'm trying to get it to focus. Sorry I'm moving the tart around so much. I don't know why it's being a pain in the butt. Grr. Oh, well. It says Sassy Sweet Tarts. And it's really fruity. But you get that sweet, sugary, powderiness of, like, sweet tart candy. It's really, really good. This one is crispy treats and I debated ordering this one because I had I've ordered quite a few marshmallow scents but I figured this would be a fun one to try also and it's good it's different than the other marshmallow scents you definitely get the marshmallow and it's almost this isn't gonna make any sense but it smells almost milky like it's rice crispy treat cereal do y'all remember when they made that do they still make that I don't know, but it smells really good, and the, like, the rice crispiness part tones down the sugary, super sweet marshmallow. It's really good. This one I thought sounded interesting. It is Butter Brickle Ice Cream. This is driving me crazy, guys. Butter Brickle Ice Cream. And I don't remember what this smells like, and it won't focus. Mm, this one smells like toffee. Like creamy toffee. I really like that. There's no spice in it at all, which is really nice for me. Because I don't, I'm not a huge spice fan. So, yeah, Butter Brickle Ice Cream is another really, really good one. I'm not really disappointed in any of these. I think my least favorite is the cookie, milk, milk, chocolate chip, cook, no, chocolate chip cookies and milk. Um, and it's not that it's a bad scent, so, yeah. This is Peppermint Marshmallows, which this is a scent I've been dying to get my freaking hands on. I want the Slatkin Marshmallow Peppermint Candle so bad. I'm nearly ready to spend, like, $40 on it on eBay. That's crazy, though, so I, I wouldn't do it. But if anybody has one of those candles and doesn't want it, I'll trade you or pay you or do something for it. But anyway... This is a tart, talk about that, in peppermint marshmallows, and it smells so good. Like, this makes me want the candle even more. I love this scent. Oh my gosh, I could just smell this forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> I got pumpkin cheesecake ice cream, because I was hoping this wouldn't be a super spicy pumpkin scent. I like really creamy pumpkin scents. And there, it's not spicy. I mean, it is a little bit spicy. Every pumpkin scent is spicy for some reason. But 
it's really good and the ice cream tones down the spice. I don't get a lot of cheesecake, but I do get a little bit of that crust note and I like it. This one is oatmeal scotchies and I don't know what an oatmeal scotchie is, but I like oatmeal scents and I like this. I don't really know what to say about it. It's not spicy. It's not like a cinnamon oatmeal. It's like a milky oatmeal and I like it. These last two are the ones that were not ready to ship. I guess she had to pour them, but they she shipped Monday morning and I ordered on Sunday evening. So maybe she maybe she doesn't sleep. I don't know. That's all I can figure. Do y'all they they might not sleep cuz that was amazing. Anyway, this is blackberry marshmallow cream cake and I actually ordered blackberry coconut cream cake, but I don't know if this was just mislabeled or like if she wrote the wrong word because you can see it's handwritten or if it's a different scent entirely. I don't really care. I'm good with marshmallow or coconut. I like both scents or I love them. And this one smells so good. Her blueberry's really, really good. Yeah, it's a really sweet fruity blueberry. I mean, blackberry. I've been saying blueberry. Dadgummit. It's blackberry, and it's really good. And I also ordered blackberry marshmallow, which smells pretty similar to blackberry marshmallow cream cake, which you might guess. Let me smell them side by side. They smell exactly the same. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, no. I definitely get a cakey note in the in the cream cake one. It's it's a little bit deeper of a scent as opposed to sort of light and fruity and sweet. So they're both amazing though. So yeah, if you've never ordered from Sugar and Spice, I definitely, definitely recommend it. The prices are pretty, pretty okay. I think they were $1.75 each. Um, let me, I have my invoice. Let me see how much all of that was. I got... 17 tarts for 33 something, 33.99 including shipping. So, not not the best prices, but definitely worth it because these scents are so strong and so awesome. They're really good. So, that's it. That's all for that haul. I've got a lot of stuff coming. Oh my gosh, I've spent so much money lately. Oh well, it's all it's all worth it. I'll talk to you guys later. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And yeah, bye.